today I'm going to be talking about errors. Errors are to do with this idea that if we take a measurement, it isn't 100% accurate. So there are two main types of errors. We have random errors and systematic errors. Now, random errors are exactly as they sound. They're random. They're different every time. There's no pattern to them. They're just completely random. And they come from, they can come from just operator error. So if you're not very good at using the equipment, using different pieces of equipment to take the same measurements, different pieces of equipment might be calibrated slightly differently. And also they come from something called least count error, which is to do with what is the resolution of your measuring, your piece of measuring equipment. So for example, we might have a ruler that is divided up, say in centimeters. Let's say this is one centimeter, two, three, four, so on. What happens if we have a, we're trying to measure something that's like this? Well, we can't really, if it's in between two measurements, like we shouldn't really guess that it's one and a half centimeters. We, we should technically take the nearest value. You can imagine if this was happening on like a digital readout, um, you'd just be told the number, like the, the equipment would round up. So random errors, because they're kind of random, if we keep taking more measurements, then we can reduce them so we can get a better better average. Because if we were to plot um, something, we can plot, say we, we measured something like many, many times. Um, if we plot like a histogram of the measurements, it would look something like this. So up here, we've got number of measurements. and this is our, our value of x, whatever it is we're measuring, we'll find that it would look something like this. And this is called a normal distribution. And the, the value in the middle here would be the average value of x. And this is just, this is a like a symbol we use to look at average. And then you could look at the kind of standard deviation of all our measurements and this would give you kind of a, an idea of what our error was. So, yeah, you can think of it, even though it's it's the same thing we're measuring, we take multiple measurements to try and get a more, uh, try and reduce our error. So we get a better value, a better average, the more measurements we take. Now, systematic errors are something different. These are errors that are the same every time. So they, these are the same every time. If we look at our ruler example, what that would be is if we had a ruler and that it was printed wrong. Maybe instead of this being one cent, this maybe said one centimeter on it, but actually there was a mistake with the ruler when it was printed, which means when you line it up, that's not actually a centimeter. And in this case, the error is the same. And if we could if we like see we spot this pattern in our in our data then we can go and check the equipment and see oh there's something wrong and we can just eliminate that error because it's gonna be the same for every value you could also think about it if you were weighing something on scales and you forget to tear so normally you would have to say put like most scales now don't come with like a a, a container ready you'd put something like a, a bowl on it and you have to push the tear button to get rid of them as the bowl if you forget to do that and take measurements then that you would have a systematic error of whatever the mass of the bowl was. So that's that's the two kind of families of errors. So how do we actually like write these? And this is something you need to be familiar with. Say we had our um, our ruler example again. Say we measured something that was ten centimeters. Now, if our ruler is good up to one centimeter, then the error is going to be in half a centimeter so we say plus or minus 0 0.5 centimeters and so this what what this is saying is that the value it isn't really 10 it can be anywhere from 9.5 to 10.5 centimeters so that's what this plus or minus 0 0.5 means so if we were then using this value to measure say an area say we had a square that was the 10 by 10 then we could actually work out what is the maximum and minimum value for this area by looking at these maximum and minimum 
values that this could actually be and then that would work out what this next value of the area would be and that's important if you're building something or um, designing something you want to know the tolerances what are the errors in your manufacturing process your measurement process and take them into account get an estimate of what is the biggest and lowest values these can these can be so that's the kind of basics of errors it's something don't overthink it just make sure you know the difference between the two types and you know this what this means when you see the plus or minus here okay any suggestions for further tutorials then put it in the comments thank you